So we all know that robots are definitely going to be part of our future, but what we don't know is that our backyards are going to be part of the battleground. So here's the latest contender to this backyard brawl. This is the Mamotion Luba all-wheel drive 3000. And trust me, this thing is a robotic grass-eating goat. <laughs> anyway, there are three things that make this robotic mower different from any other robotic mower that you've seen. And that is, first off, that it's all-wheel drive, which means it can go and cut your yard in areas that other robotic mowers can't even think of. Secondly, it's got dual blades on the bottom, which means it mows faster, it mows a wider path, and it just looks great. And the last thing is, it's a digital perimeter, which means you don't need any wires in your ground to guide this robotic mower. But that ain't it, boys. This thing is awesome. Let's jump into it. So there are a few more things I'd like to talk to you about before we jump into the juicy meat of this video, and that is that there are three different models of Luba for sale. I'll have a link to the Luba webpage right down below. Go check that out if you like. Otherwise, I'm gonna give you a lot of information here today. So the three different models are the 1000, the 3000, and the 5000. Today, we are reviewing the 3000. Now, the difference between those models is what size property they are made for. The 1000 is good for a quarter acre. The the 3000 is good for three quarters of an acre, and the 5000, the big guy, is good for one and a quarter acre. So the other thing about all these Luba mowers is they are controlled by an app on your phone. And trust me, it is fun to actually set this thing up. You can do it in about 15 minutes and have it mowing your lawn. It does take some time to get comfortable with the app, but once you figure out what they're trying to do, it's really easy. I'll try to demonstrate a lot of that in this video. In addition, it's got obstacle avoidance, which means it's got little radars on top of it. So if there's something in its way, it will work itself around that. Also, this thing will actually return itself to home if it needs to recharge or it completes its cut. And lastly, it is multi-zone, which means you can set up different areas in your yard and create these tunnels or passageways to connect them all up. Again, I'll show that in the video, but trust me, it's fun, it's cool, and it works really well. All right, so let me show you how simple it is to set up the Luba robotic mode. Check this out. So now that we've got our docking station set up and our Luba 3000s ready to mow, I want to show you how easy it is to use the app to set up a mowing perimeter. I'm going to try to do this real time so you get a sense of how easy this is. Come on in. So once we start moving forward, we're creating the area it will mow in. You can see that little line. Now when we get down here a little bit, we're going to turn right by pushing this joystick right here. Now it's turning right. You can see right when we're at about a 45 degree angle to where we started. Now let's move this way a little bit. You can see how fast the mower moves along. This is not a problem at all. If you have a curve, let's put a curve in there real quick and let's curve back. You can see how easy that works. Now let's turn right like this. Go forward a little bit, go forward a little bit and Let's go right again, like this. And you can see that dotted line. That dotted line is the direction that we now have to take so we can come straight to our starting point. 
And once we get close to our starting point, which is right around there, you see we can click that OK. So now that you've defined the area you want the Luba mower to work in, let's actually activate the mower so it can start working in that space. First of all, choose the zone, then hit mow. Now from here, it will take you to, to the configuration page. This is where you can set the height of the mower blade. It can go from 70 millimeters all the way down to 30 millimeters. For this mow, we'll set it to about 50. Let's go one more down. Also over here, you can set the efficiency cut. So we're in efficiency mode right here. You can have it set to fine cutting mode, which will actually go over the area twice. Let's keep it at efficiency mode and let's hit start. So the mower will take off. You can see it will actually define the area where it's gonna mow in. It's gonna go around the edges first and then it will work in the center. So since this is a Kite Army video, we gotta have a little fun here. Why not build a obstacle course to see if this all-wheel drive Luba can really tackle tough terrain? Check out the how it is. The Luba 3000 Robotic Lawnmower. Folks, this is going to be exciting. Through no sand trap, Luba's not testing around. Both the Luba's nice. And Luba crushes the seesaw. And the last obstacle, the swamp. The crowd is on their feet. Luba has made history. All right, guys, it is wrap up time. Make sure you do not go anywhere because you're going to want to see this. Also, if you want to learn more about this Luba 3000 robotic mower, there's a link to the website right down below. Make sure you go there. While you're there, give this a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. So here's the wrap up on this Luba all wheel drive 3000. It is amazing. In fact, my wife uttered these words. He said, can we get rid of the mowers now and just stick with the robotic mower? And I think the answer for me is yes. So here's a few things I wanna share with you about this robotic mower that I've learned over the last few weeks. First off, this is by far the most confident robotic mower I've tested, meaning it just doesn't hesitate when it gets on your lawn. It just goes to mowing. It doesn't do any sort of weird movements that you don't understand. It just mows and it feels like it's programmed and really just a solid robot. Secondly, speaking of solid, the app is really good. It's slick, it's easy to use. Once you get it, you get it and you can set it up really easily. So one of the big features of this mower is its four wheel drive capability. And when I got it, I just didn't understand how that would matter. First of all, it can handle really steep slopes on your yard. Now that's good, but the place that I think it made the biggest difference is where you have an edge in your property, like grass, the sidewalk, and maybe there's like a, a little like rough spot there or a little like kind of rough peak. This mower can navigate that really easy and get the job done. Other robotic mowers I've tested no way, man. No way. Not going to happen. So the other feature we have to talk about this mower is its dual blade capability. This is the first robotic mower that I've tested that actually has that and it makes the mowing just cleaner and faster. Really good thing. So the last thing we need to speak about is the price of this mower. This mower is probably priced a little bit more expensive than other robotic mowers out there, but I can say it definitely packs value into this mower. It just feels more confident. It mows well. The app is tight and works. This is in fact the first robotic mower that I think I could replace any mower that I have right now with this robotic mower and it would do the job. That is awesome guys. So do you want to see how much I really like this robotic mower? Oh look at that. Mwah. So speaking of love, make sure you throw some love towards Kite Army. Give this video a thumbs up. 
Subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below about what you think about this Luba all-wheel drive robotic mower. And when you're done with that, go and check that video out right there. Let's do it.